Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. It is Grant Johnson, and today I'm going to be talking about gynecomastia, man boobs, moobs, something I have and uh, you might be wondering about. So today I'm going to be talking about what the heck that is and why I have it. Alright, so let's get into what it is. So gynecomastia, as defined by a simple Google search, is swollen male breast tissue caused by a hormone imbalance. So this is caused, the hormone imbalance is there's more estrogen in the male body than there is testosterone. So normally it's supposed to be the other way around, more testosterone, the male hormone, and less estrogen, the female hormone. But naturally we have both, but with gynecomastia that means your hormones are typically switched around and imbalanced. So what are the symptoms of gynecomastia? Well, the symptoms are swollen or puffy breasts or nipples. So like you can see mine are puffy or swollen. And uh, oftentimes there, it's tenderness, like breast tenderness or like pain. Um, I don't actually have any of that anymore, but typically with gynecomastia it hurts a little bit. Like if you get hit, it hurts uh, and it's just tender. Okay, so you're probably wondering what the heck causes this gynecomastia or this gyno or moves. So first, there's, there's many causes, but first we'll talk about the natural hormone changes. So gynecomastia occurs naturally multiple times in many ways, uh, like in infants, they get it a lot, but normally it's gone in like two weeks. Uh, older men, ages 50 to 60, I think one in four of those men get gynecomastia. And then also in puberty, it's very common in puberty. And uh, it, it's typically gone. You get it in puberty, but then it's gone in six months to two years, it's gone by then. But those, so it can happen naturally. It's not something weird. So in most cases, gynecomastia is natural and it'll go away eventually. Um, the next cause is medications. So there's a long list of medications. I'll list off a few like AIDS medications, anti-anxiety medications, some antidepressants, antibiotics, cancer treatment, heart medications, and more. So medications can cause it, because uh, they just cause that hormone imbalance. And then also steroids are PEDs. So steroid, uh, steroids, obviously everybody knows what those are. It's uh, it helps you build muscle and sometimes like athletes will take it illegally but then there's also it can be prescribed by a doctor for some medical reason and then there's PEDs performance enhancing drugs and uh, gyno occurs more from steroids than PEDs but basically gynecomastia is a side effect of steroids so that's also a medication cause and then other than medications it can also be caused by uh, drugs and alcohol because drugs and alcohol can affect your hormone levels in your body and uh, as a result cause some gynecomastia. And then another cause is uh, health conditions, so aging, uh, tumors which are blocking hormone producing glands, kidney or liver failure, hyperthyroidism, malnutrition and starvation and more. So those are some common ones but if you really are wondering about conditions that could be causing it, I just look it up and like see if your condition causes it. Chances are if you have a condition you probably know what it can cause but just google it yourself. I won't go into all the conditions because there's a lot that can cause it. And also herbal products, um, they have been associated with gynecomastia so that's like plant oils like lavender and tea tree oil. They have been associated with it um, and this is partly due to their mild estrogen promoting, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it has something to do with the hormones, obviously, because it's causing gynecomastia. Now, you might be wondering if there are any complications caused by gynecomastia or if it's a big deal. Like, is this going to hurt me or is it something I need to go to the doctor now if I have it or have the symptoms? Um, and no, it's not. It's basically not a big deal at all. It doesn't really cause any physical harm other than some pain and tenderness in the nipples and breast area, but it's not a big deal. You can definitely go without treating, which I have for many years now. Uh, but there is mental, um, it hurts you mentally. It can be cause you to be insecure and embarrassed by it, and that can be really damaging to your mental health. And you can might even get picked on because of it. And I understand that stuff. I went through a little bit of it. So that's probably the biggest complication and why people really want to get rid of it. So how do you not get it? How do you avoid getting this puffy breasts or nipples or man boobs, whatever you want to call it? Well, most of the time it's out of your control. You can't really control if you get it. And that, this is like with the natural and 
uh, natural hormone imbalances and puberty stuff like that you can't control that you're probably if you get it you get it it's not up to you but some other ways you can prevent getting it from other like medications and stuff is just don't use drugs that'll definitely help uh, avoid alcohol or if you drink alcohol do it in moderation because that affects your hormone levels also and uh, check out your meds like review your medications and see if they are any that could be causing it and if they are go talk to your doctor and see if you can get a different medication all right now you might be wondering what you can do about it if you have gonic monster or how someone who has it can get rid of it and normally there's nothing you can do the best thing to do is just wait because it naturally goes away after a little while but there are cases where it doesn't go away and so what you can do about that is you can see your doctor if it's persistent. So if it's been, say for example, you went through puberty and you've had it for more than two years, well beyond two years, like what my case was, you can go to the doctor and get your blood work done. They'll test your blood, see if you have a hormone imbalance or see if there's another cause possibly and they'll help you. So that's one thing you can do. And then from there, you can maybe get some treatment. So uh, some medications can help treat gynecomastia but they're not normally that good uh, and they, they often have side effects of their own uh, but usually what people do to get rid of gynecomastia is liposuction which sucks the fat out and gets rid of the fat there but it still leaves the, um, the glands the breast glands there or you can get a mastectomy which gets rid of the gland tissues and that's the one more people do because it's it's a smaller surgery and it heals faster but that's really all you can do. Most of the time you can't do anything, and then if it's been there for so long, your surgery is like your best bet. All right, so about me and my gynecomastia. So it started back in sixth grade, so that was about seven years ago, and I would attribute it to puberty because that's the time period. Sixth grade, I was starting puberty, and that's when it really hit me, and I started noticing it. Um, and it just never went away. I've had it. I still have it. I feel like it might have gotten better. I don't know. It doesn't hurt anymore. It doesn't hurt at all. It used to be tender and hurt often in my younger days, like sixth grade. So like seven, five to seven years ago, it used to hurt. And I figured it'd just go away after puberty, but it never did. So uh, my sophomore year of high school, so three years ago, I went to the doctor for it because at this point, I was getting better about it. I wasn't as self-conscious, because I was definitely really bad in junior high, like self-conscious and embarrassed about it, but I was getting better, and then I, just, I still just, I want to get rid of it. I want to know how I could get rid of it. So I went to the doctor, had my blood work done, and like got diagnosed for it, and my levels were normal. It was just, basically, they just considered it a puberty thing and said to check in later if it was still persistent, um, and I haven't checked back since, but I, honestly don't think it's a puberty thing if I've had it for seven years I mean maybe I am still going through puberty I don't know uh, but it's just I haven't checked it since um, yeah that's what happened with me so since I haven't checked it you might be wondering like why do I still have it why is it still with me even though I'm most likely out of puberty or it's seven years later from when I first got it well I still have it it was natural from puberty so that's how I got it in the first place. But then I just, the tissue just never went away. So it's kind of like scar tissue now. Like it doesn't hurt or anything, it's just there. And it, you, it's no amount of like shredding down or losing fat to get rid of it because it's not fat, it's just a tissue. So there's really nothing I can do about it necessarily. And it's just there because I had it and it just stuck around like it never was able to leave. Um, or I have something wrong that's causing a hormone imbalance and causing me to have it or maintain it still. And that's why I might go to the doctor and get checked soon, but more on that in a second. Um, another cause, like another reason I might have it is steroids. Do I, am I taking steroids? I don't know, do you think I am? If, I, if you think I am, that is very flattering. That means I must look pretty decent. But unfortunately, no, I'm not taking steroids. If I was, I'd be a lot bigger, at least I'd hope so. Um, but yeah, no, it's not steroids. That's a common cause of gynecomastia, so if you were wondering if I was on steroids or if that was a cause for my gynecomastia, I can clear that up for you. No, I would never take that. Natty for life. <laughs> Actually, though, I'm proud of being natural and I would never do something 
like steroids or anything like that because it's just not good for you overall. So it's not steroids. I don't. I'm not taking steroids. Um, but I, my boobs might have gotten smaller over the years. A lot of people have said they think they've gotten smaller, like they've noticed, or it might just be that I've gotten bigger, which I obviously have. I don't really know, and I'm not sure why I still have it. Um, maybe time will tell. I might get checked out, so we'll see. So my plan for my boobs, like what I'm gonna do about them. If you're wondering if I have a plan or what I'm thinking, well, it doesn't really hurt or affect me anymore. I mean, I used to be insecure about it, but not so much anymore. I mean, I'm slightly still, like enough to where like, I want to get rid of them, but it's not a big deal to me. I can obviously live my life happily and confidently with with them because I have been doing that for months now but I might get checked up and have my blood work done again soon and if I do this it just be to see if I have a problem like if there's something wrong like why do I still have them seven years later um, and either way it just be interesting to get my blood work done to see what my levels are see if I'm if I have high testosterone low testosterone what everything's looking like that'd be cool and I'll probably make a video out of that. Like, I'll probably try to make a vlog of me going there, getting it done, and then I'll go over my results with you guys and talk about it. Um, but other than that, I don't really have anything else in my plan. There's, I'm okay. There's no real need to change. I'm definitely okay without doing it. Um, maybe one day I'd get surgery, if that's what it comes to. If, I, if that's the only way I can get rid of it, maybe I'd do that. Not now. I'd probably wait until I have more money and I'm just more able to do it and if I see like oh, I might as well but for now nothing really maybe get checked up soon and the reason I want it gone is well I'm slightly still self-conscious uh, self-conscious just a little bit not really at all but obviously I would prefer not to have my boobs I mean I'd like to just be considered normal I'd like to look have my normal chest like everybody else's normal chest like that would be nice I mean, it's not a big deal, but obviously I want to look normal. I want to get rid of them. I prefer not to have them. But yeah, that's really the main reasons I want them gone. Okay, so I just wanted to make this video to explain myself, explain my gynecomastia, why I have it. And if you've noticed, if you're just wondering about it, I wanted to explain that to you guys and get the word about it because I don't, I didn't know about it until I hit puberty. Like, till I had it, I had never heard of it. But there, now you know about it. And if you have it, just remember, it's super common, especially if you're in that puberty age where it's most likely from puberty. Just know it's really common. You're not the only one out there. I went through it. I understand what you're feeling. And just remember, you can't really do anything about it. So you just have to accept it and be confident in yourself and just try not to be self-conscious because there's nothing to be self-conscious about. You can't change it. If people are hating on you or making fun of you for it, then they're probably not very nice people and you should hang around others. But that's going to be everything, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you never get uh, miss out on one of my new videos. I really appreciate you guys and all the love you guys show me. It means the world. I'm just trying to make it out here, and I appreciate you guys helping me. But if you have any questions about gynecomastia or anything, really, you can drop in the comments down below or DM me on Instagram, which will be linked in the description down below. Uh, I respond like always I never leave you on open I will always respond and get back to you and I like talking to you guys getting requests and helping you guys out so leave it down below um, that's everything thanks for watching guys I love and appreciate you and I will see you in the next video goodbye